read to you a proclamation from the City of New York uh, City Council. Uh, whereas Jessica S. Lappin, Council Member of the 5th District, and Rosie Mendez, Council Member of the 2nd District, are proud to honor Matthew Troy and on the occasion of the opening of this exhibition at the National Arts Club on December 21st, 2011. And whereas Matthew Troy demonstrated extraordinary courage and unsurpassed concern for his fellow prisoners while incarcerated for three and a half years in the Nazi concentration camps of Auschwitz, Mauthausen, and Ebensee, and whereas Mr. Troyan selflessly risked life and limb when he volunteered to serve in the Polish cavalry in anticipation of the Nazi invasion, <laughs> and whereas Mr. Troyan devoted his working life and singular talent as an artist to recounting the horrors of the Holocaust for generations to come, and to dedicating his art as well to the memory of those who perished, and whereas Mr. Troyan's lifetime achievement and dedication to his art are worthy of the highest attention by all who cherish the special joy that great art brings to our lives. Now, therefore, be it known that we, the undersigned council members, extend our congratulations to the curators, sponsors, and participants who join together to celebrate the extraordinary legacy of Matthew Troy. My great pleasure to introduce Dr. Robert Baker. This is not my moment, this is Matthew's moment, and it's Matthew's moment for the world. And all I am is the messenger for the message. And so, I know Matthew's here with me, definitely. He was next to me for every pen stroke that I did in writing the book about his life. It was an extraordinary experience. Um, I feel amazingly privileged to have had the opportunity to become part of Matthew's life. The ambassador came especially for this opening from Washington, D.C., Ambassador Thomas Lady. Coming in here looking over my front of my papers, I saw the painting of that period uh, when he was there in the concentration camp. And I think uh, we all uh, say a uh, <coughs> prayer of Thanksgiving that we have this kind of man painted and he uh, managed to uh, almost a miracle escape execution. Uh, to be able to champion the message that he had to say to the world and to preserve forever the incredible ability of a man to overcome the worst conditions that one can imagine in life and to rise above it the strength of the human spirit and produce this amazing body of work to share with the world. So, uh, this proclamation uh, that has been presented uh, to me and to curators, I'm going to now present to Mitzi, his wife, who, uh, without her and her great abilities as an archivist and her great love for Matthew, none of this work would have been possible. So, Mitzi, wherever you are, come here, Mitzi. 